Our operation started at Motor Trend headquarters in Los Angeles, where we already had the perfect candidate for our motorcycle conversion. It's still there. The Hershey blows. <laughs> Some busted stuff, huh? Yup. I don't remember when this broke, but it's familiar. It did hit the ground a number <laughs> of times. The SUC is the five-person motorcycle we built in a previous episode, and it was surprisingly capable for an 11-foot-long two-wheeler that weighs close to 1,000 pounds. All right. Uh, uh, yep. <laughs> it's precarious even on a side stand. What a machine. <laughs> so we have this five-person motorcycle, and we are going to turn it into a boat by putting one huge pontoon along this side, another matching one on the other side, and we've done the math and we think it won't sink, and then uh, some sort of paddle situation on the rear wheel so it can power itself across the lake, and if we're lucky, also a rudder off the back, maybe even the front to steer in some way, because... Because that's probably important. Because steer is probably important. And we chose the SUC because we think it's awesome and we're quite proud of it, and we've proven that it can't be broken, so we figured maybe we can sink it. <laughs> No, but in all reality, it's got this really robust, long chassis. Uh, it's going to be easy to mount stuff, we hope. And it's just an awesome platform for a motorcycle, if there ever was one. The point is, once we have a prototype, we will go up to a lake in Northern California, uh, and if we can conquer that water on the SUC, then theoretically we will have opened up two-thirds of the surface of the Earth uh, to two-wheel travel, which will be quite a step forward for mankind. We, we just think. keep pushing the boundaries. It's so great. <laughs> Before we can do any of that though, obviously we need to build it into a motorcycle. And you know what, the Motor Trend Studio, it's real nice, but it's a little almost, too nice it's for us. Too nice, yeah. So we're gonna ride a sucker back to the throttle out garage. Uh, it takes two people to pilot this thing, so you're gonna... Yeah, I'll take the stern. All right, cool. I trust you. I got throttle and steering, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So Cal Freeway, here we come. Yeah! Yes. Nice bike, bro. You know what, drag race? And here we go, the big fun turn. See if I can do it without putting my feet down. Do it, do it. Yes. Yes. With the SUC safely in its berth at the Thrall Out Garage, it was time to unbox the bike floaties and size up how on earth our idea was going to work. That's a pleasant noise. Good lord. Probably won't take too long to fill it up though, you know? Seems to be going real fast. <laughs> if two of these will actually hold the motorcycle up, then that's gonna look... Pretty majestic. Pretty ridiculous, but yeah. majestic is the other word I was thinking of. So, we just jacked it up with the floor jack. Ari just marked it. This is the practical center of the bike, where we figure we want the center of the pontoon to be in order for the bike to be approximately level in the water. Aerie's stripping the bike because we're gonna have to clean it up a little bit, get Cliff off of there, and I'm gonna start cutting some metal, and we're gonna start sizing up where these outriggers are gonna go and start uh, welding some stuff in place. You know the deal, everybody. This is where the tube gets shorter. And those are coming off the frame. We got some sort of feet that come down or whatever to support it and, and distribute the weight. We'll have one here, one there, and one coming off the passenger pegs. Yep. Seems pretty good to me. And then it's got this sweet D-ring. We just run ratchet straps around it. Yep. What could go wrong? Trying to get my chair back. <laughs> the outriggers were coming together quickly, and we were ahead of schedule. To get us back behind schedule, as is customary, we flew off the rails chasing a harebrained idea.